the topic is transmission lines as we know that the uniform plane wave or electromagnetic wave can propagate in two ways first is unguided propagation and second is guided propagation in unguided propagation the medium is free space while in guided propagation the medium is any physical that is transmission lines and wave guides so as we know that the communication are of two types line communication and radio communication or wireless communication so this unguided propagation is under the category of wireless communication means here we use a free space and second is the second communication is line communication that is with the help of some line medium here here the electromagnetic wave propagate with the help of transmission lines so it is called guided propagation in case of unguided propagation free space is used this free space having infinite extent and it is unbounded media in free space the electromagnetic energy is spread over a wide range and the information which is transmitted via free space is meant for everyone who may be interested for example radio or tv broadcasting in case of guided propagation the electromagnetic wave that is a uniform plane wave is propagate via a transmission lines in this the electromagnetic energy is propagate from some source to load and here the information in the form of energy is received by a particular person for example in case of telephone conversation so this is a difference between unguided and guided and here we talk about a transmission lines and transmission lines are under the category of guided propagation of electromagnetic waves so we totally talk about transmission lines so there are many problems regarding to transmission lines and these problems can be solved by two theories first is electromagnetic field theory and second is electric circuit theory in case of transmission line problems we use electric circuit theory because it is easier to deal mathematically so here the transmission lines can be solved using circuit theory means we use kcl and kvl so we can say that the transmission lines are used to transmit electric energy and signals that is voltage or current from one point to another that is source to load and here we deals with wave phenomena on transmission lines means how the electromagnetic wave behaves when they are propagate on a transmission lines with with the propagation of energy from point to point so the transmission lines are commonly used in power distribution that is at low frequency and in communication that is at high frequency so the transmission line is a medium which connect a source to a load here 
the example of sources are hydroelectric generator transmitter oscillator while the example of load are factory antenna oscilloscope so these are the examples of source and load and these source and loads are connected with the help of transmission lines so the types of transmission lines are as follows first is coaxial cable second is two wire lines third is parallel plate fourth is wire above conducting plane and fifth is micro strip lines in all the five transmission lines the mostly used is coaxial cable coaxial cable is used in cable tv signals also in computer network that is internet so this is about a uh, examples of types of transmission lines now as we know that the electromagnetic wave propagate with the help of transmission lines so there is a propagation of electromagnetic energy from point to point along the transmission lines from source to load any transmission line having a basic elements that basic elements are resistance r inductance l and capacitance c and the combination of all the three elements the whole circuit is called transmission line circuit and the basic elements are called lumped elements if the time delay between the transmitter and receiver is negligible means zero then the elements of the transmission line circuit is called lumped element and this transmission line circuit is for short distance while when the time delay between transmitter and receiver has some finite value then the circuit transmission line circuit have an element that are called distributed elements and this distributed elements in transmission lines are for large distance and this is a general property of a transmission line and we have to evaluate on a per unit distance basis so any transmission lines can be observed by per unit distance basis and it contributes some impedance to circuit problems that impedance is called line impedance or characteristic impedance so we here generally discuss about a distributed elements which consist a transmission line circuit and transmission line circuit has basic element that is resistance inductor and capacitance because the electromagnetic energy is propagated from point to point through the transmission lines so there may be some charging and discharging element which can help to propagate that electromagnetic energy from source to load so we note one point in case of time harmonic case there is a phase difference between source and load and this phase difference is a measurable quantity so our main objective in this lecture series is 
First is how to treat transmission lines as circuit elements having complex impedance. That complex impedance is a function of line length and frequency. The second objective is to understand wave propagation on transmission lines and while propagating there may be some losses. That losses is due to some physical construction of the transmission lines. And third is to understand the transient phenomena on line. So these are the objectives which we are likely to discuss in our upcoming video lectures.